that you terrorize B is for vampire, B is for blood So give me your money, I'll give you my love B is for vampire, B is for blood So give me your money, I'll give you my love So, hi. Welcome to my domain. I want to make sure that everybody can hear my voice. So, let me know, chat. Can you hear my voice? Is our audio working? Let me know. Yeah, mic is good. Awesome. Cool. Welcome to my domain. I am Psychshire. And welcome. Glad to have you guys here today. And yeah, we're going to do some freaky stuff and read from a really, really cool novel. So I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute. But going through our intro like we normally do, mi casa de su casa. My domain is your domain. My house is your house. Feel free to come in, take a seat, relax, put your feet up. Join us for our own little feeding time and haunt. So what are we doing today? We're doing a visual graphic novel that's called Red Embrace Hollywood. But before we do that, I want to take you through kind of some of the panels that we have on Twitch. Give you a little bit of information. So as you look, going down our panels... First, you see our emote. That is an emote created by Jelly. She is amazing. She's creating two more for us, and I cannot wait until they are done. Then you look on the other side, and you see where it says, Contact Me. Well, you've got four options. Discord, Twitter, Steam, YouTube channel, or all four. Now, why would you want to join the Discord channel? Not only why not, but if you do, you'll be able to jump in with us on voice chat whenever we do uh, Dead by Daylight, my favorite other pastime, as well as just hang out, chill out, and be able to message me or any of the other people that are in chat just to say hey and see what's up. Twitter, I post everything on Twitter. I put what I'm doing, my mood, Pinterest, and when I'm streaming. You can also message me there anytime you want. Steam, why would you want to be my friend on Steam? Well, if you want to play Dead by Daylight with me, then one of the things you got to do is download the game and then friend me on Steam. And when you do, then you can jump in the Discord. When you jump in the Discord, get in there. We'll get you into our voice chat. You'll get to play along with us. And sometimes when I stream, you'll be in the middle of the stream with us all on your voice. So, does that say what's up, Lix? Yeah, it does. Got my attention. <laughs> Now, YouTube channel. Why would you want to go to the YouTube channel? Well, it's got all the things from Twitch, but it also has When I Beat Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 1 and Vampire the Masquerade Gotaris, and it has clips of Dead by Daylight bloopers, and it also has where I have played Beat Saber, and I play Expert and Expert Plus 120 speed because I like swords and blades and sharp, pointy things. So now that we've got that kind of clear, let's go down a little bit. About me, you want to know what makes me tick? This is just a tiny bit. 
Not enough, but it's a tiny bit. And then you got Chester's Rules. So, who is Chester the Chat Cat? Look right in the middle of your screen. See that cute little vicious kitty with the psychology symbol in the middle of his forehead. And the fangs extending and that vicious stare. That is Chester the Chat Cat. If you misbehave, you will be dinner. Either his or mine. Then there's a picture of me. Yeah, I'm a Fruit Loop. And <laughs> there's Spotted by Killer and Dead by Daylight. Yeah, it's me and Braids. I don't know why I put that up there. Probably should take it down. Then there goes my streaming schedule. 9.30 Eastern, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. And whenever you ask me or beg me. Either way, that's cool. And then Psychshire Song, a whole bunch of the songs that are on here. We had V is for Vampire. We had Wicked. We had Blood Hunter. And we had the Mobius trailer. Hey, Ravenclaw. Welcome to my side of hell. Fruit Loops are the fun people. Yeah, I yeah I can be I can be fun. I can be vicious, but I can be fun. Games coming and games playing. So now that you've got all of that, let me give you the rules about chat. Chat is highly interactive. That means say what you want. Say what you want. We're going to have in this game where you have to make choices. As we go along the dialogue, there'll be option one, two, or three. And I'm going to say, chat pack, my destiny, my fate, my blood is in your hands. I am at your mercy. So you'll have to choose one, two, or three options. And then it's majority rules. Whoever, whatever number is the most is the, oh, you're hungry for more vampire? I'm going to feed you. You just hold still. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, as you can see, I can actually see chat. And the reason I can see chat is I have two monitors, two machines, and actually two Twitch accounts. Miss Katrina Rose is also my Twitch account. It's what I use to monitor everything that is going on in chat so I can respond to you immediately while I'm playing the game. So, given that, let's go ahead and let's post some of our little warnings. First off, we have an adult plus 18 warning because this particular game, I'm playing it as a blind playthrough, meaning I have literally no idea what's going to happen. I have heard some things, I have checked out some things, and it can be really, really bad. So I got to be careful what I do, try to make appropriate choices. And be the good little cami when I'm actually really a sabot. Yes, I am a sabot. If you know my characteristics, you know I'm a sabot. As some I can tribute, to be exact. Yeah, diablerize. Stay calm and diablerize. And, oh, totally cool, I gotta say this. Uh, also, yes, if in fact I do get into Dead by Daylight, let's say I were to stream Dead by Daylight, which, depending on my mood, could happen, then I do tend to do jump scares where I scream. I will warn you, I scream loud. Very, very loud. And when I do, yeah, it's going to blow your eardrums out. So I will try to warn you if I play Dead by Daylight, you already know it's going to be jump scares. In this game, there won't be. So don't worry, there won't be any jump scares in this. Um, we possibly could be like dead light daylight after this when we get done maybe i'm kind of craving it but we'll see how far we get and we'll see what time we stop so given that yes this is a blind playthrough so i will give you the rundown if we get into this and suddenly we turn a page and there's something that i think twitch's tos would have a conniption over and then, yeah, I have to shut down the stream, delete the VOD, and boot back up into another game. So if that happens, don't freak, don't worry. It's because I'm protecting you, me, and us. Because, you know, we know what we crave, but doesn't mean we can have it on Twitch. So, given all of that, yeah, through the sings of a siren, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so, you guys ready to play? I'm ready to play. So let's get ready and let's boot this game up. When I get the game up, I'm going to be asking you, can you hear the audio? Can you see the visual? Before we start, because I want to make sure that you can, because you're going to be deciding my fate. I am in your hands, my lords and ladies. Be right back. Boot in the game.
So now you tell me, can you see it? And can you hear it? Because I want to make sure that you can hear the game. We have visual and we have audio. <laughs> and we have mic. Good. If anything goes out of whack, where like the mic's too loud or the game's too loud, let me know. All right, let's play this again. All right. So where are we going to do? we got to load this. I think I have my steam on. I might have to actually get off of that. Because I had it on broadcast, I think, last time. So let's get it off broadcast. Hang tight. Did I? Yeah! Nope, I had it disabled. Sweet. Cool beans. All right, y'all ready to rock and roll? Let's load it. Still got audio? Is everything good to go? Yes. All right, here we go, chat pack. Buckle up, buttercup. I'm going to take you for a ride. After tipping an imaginary hat to me, he flashed a wide grin, and I glimpsed two small white fangs shining in the light. No need to mention your own name, Cheshire, so don't worry. I know exactly who you are. And now, you're one of us. A night stalker. A blood sucker an overblown myth hiding a horrible monster. You're a vampire, sister. Welcome to the Valley of Death. So, here you go, Chad Pack. First time for everything. Lead me. It's either so I've really been turned into a vampire, or this can't be real. Vampires aren't real. Stop bullshitting me. Tell me the truth. Which way we go in Shad Pack? And don't hesitate. Call out your number now. Do not make me wait. We got a one. We got a one. We got a three, we got a three, we got a tie, folks. Somebody break that tie. What are we going for? I could go either way. There we go, we got a one. We're going with a one. Let's play innocent. Well, not quite. Right now, I'd say you more resemble hmm, a walking corpse. It's not until you sink your fangs into a live body, feel the heat flowing into your cold guts, that you start to shift into something more. My brain didn't feel like a good process, what Marcus was saying. Everything made sense, but at the same time, it all just seemed too insane to be real. As if he could sense my confusion, Marcus let out a patient sigh. Considering you still look bemused, let me try to put the facts of this situation in simpler terms. You merely turned into a different kind of parasite, sister. An honest one. Money. Sex. Favors. You won't have to suck those out of human folk anymore. They will simply fall into your lap. Just blood. Just blood is all you need now. Doesn't that make you feel relieved? Marcus 
suddenly paused, taking a deep, long sniff of the air. A few moments later, he leaned towards me, this time sniffing close to my neck. You get a choice. Either what are you, or get the hell away from. Which way are we going, chat pack? One or two this time. I'm kind of leaning towards one. I'm kind of leaning towards one. But I don't know. I could go either way. We're thinking one. 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 Majority rolls. Iskari, I see. I see. I had a feeling. You shine too brightly, sister. Far too brightly for a dead thing. Even a fine mask won't hide the rot inside. But maybe there's another reason you were chosen for that house. He winked at me grinning, like we shared some priceless inside joke, except I didn't get the punchline. One or two. I'm saying one. I want to know what he's talking about. But you tell me, chat. Of course I'm at your mercy, so you direct me. Yeah, I'm thinking one. About yourself, rather. For now, you should at least know this. You were bitten by an Ascari vampire, which means your blood has taken on those qualities. And you're part of that house. You have my sincerest apologies. His lips curled in a slow, insidious smirk that suggested his apologies were anything but sincere. Was anything he said to me sincere, though? Did he actually know what was happening to me, or was he just some crazy druggie on the street? With my mind reeling like this, I couldn't possibly decide which situation was more plausible. All right. I do believe that's enough. Before you get into any trouble, there is someone you need to meet. Come now. Back to the pen like a good little man. Now... You realize I'm Sabat outside of the game. So if anyone said to me, go back to the pen like a good little lamb, I'd rip them end to end. However, you know, hey, what can I say? Can't help it. <laughs> so, I have to play the game as a can be. So let's go with this. Are we going with one, all right, or two, this is really suspicious, or three, I'm not going anywhere with you. Ruben says let's go three. <laughs> I want to go two, this is really suspicious. Yeah, I, I am not feeling one. I will not give in lightly. So I'm kind of feeling two, if anything. Thoughts? You don't want to, yeah, see, I don't want to totally say no, because you might lose an opportunity, but on the other end, I don't think I want to play one either, because I'm not the given girl. We'll go with this is really suspicious. Let's see what happens. Don't worry, sister. Your time hasn't come yet.
before I had a chance to offer a reply. Marcus grabbed my shoulders, pulling me forcefully towards the street. Three is very sabat, I know. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> but this isn't a sabat game, so I'm stuck. He just snatched me out in the street anyway. Brute. Ooh, here we go. Stay quiet. Try to struggle or where are you taking me? Hey, Ritalin. I'm glad to have you here. You're gonna lurk. Lurky, lurky. Lurk is good. Thank you, Ritalin. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hang out and lurk. Listen to the story time. All right, so what are we doing, Shadback? Are we doing stay quiet, try to struggle, or what are you taking to me? I'm going completely against number one, because we don't stay quiet and dragged out into the street. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ruben. Now you're part of my chat pack. You're one of my hellions. Thank you, Ruben. All right, we going with two or three, because I ain't doing one. I ain't staying quiet. That's too much of a gammy. So what are we doing? Struggle or what are we going to do? Say three? Three? Where are you taking me? That works for me. My cry was met only with silence, which worried me more. Hungry for three? Feel you. When we reached the street in a few moments later, I noticed a black sedan parked in front of us. It hadn't been there when I walked by earlier. Don't worry, my dear. We wouldn't dream of making you ride in anything but luxury. His voice drawled in my ear, ringing with amusement as he opened the back seat door. Here we go. We got a one or a two. Either that's real comforting. Thanks. Or we? Who is we? Hey, at least he didn't throw us in. How much of a bet he throws us in? <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. He's sabati. If he breaks out a shovel, I'm going to be pissed. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so are we going with one? Or are we going with three, Chad Pack? I'm thinking, I'm an inquisitive creature. I would say two, but again, Chad Pack, I'm much more mercy. You tell me. Two? You've got time to be a smart ass, but you want to know the questions when you're about to be thrown into a car. I'd like to know some answers kind of quick. That's why I'm feeling two. So we got two twos. Anybody else want to throw in a thought? This adventure with me, chat pack. My neck's on the line. Yeah, this would all be weird for someone new, yeah. I'd be like, yo, hey, dude, hands off. What are you doing? Don't throw me in a car. We're gonna do who is we, who is we. Oh, you'll see soon enough. Without further ceremony, Marcus shoved me inside the sedan, squeezing in behind me. I told you we were going to get thrown in a car. He is a sabot. Ah, pitter patter my little heart. He's a sabot. The second he closed the door, the shadowy driver started up the car, and we sped off down the road at an alarmingly fast pace. too disoriented to try and figure out our destination from the landmarks passing by. But that didn't keep a sickening sense of anticipation from building in my gut. If there are any questions burning in your mind, now might be the time to ask. 
Marcus murmured to me from the other seat, his eyes glowing faintly behind their dark lenses. I can't promise you much, let alone the answers, but I figure you deserve some semblance of a welcome. Let it never be said that I'm not a gentleman. Okay, chat pack, here we go. This is going to be question and answer time. So whatever we want to know, now is our shot. So we either do one. Is every vampire completely nuts? Or is it just you? Or were you waiting for me back there? Or why was I turned into a vampire? Which one do we want to choose? Now we cannot be guaranteed that if we choose one, the other two will still be waiting. But you give it a shot. You want to know why why I was turned? Because I'm a sabot. That's why. No, I'm just kidding. So we're thinking either is every vampire nuts? Yeah, or three. So right now we got a three threes technically. I'm feeling three. Wanna try three? Let's give it a shot. I'm curious. Curiosity always leads me down the wrong way though. You'll have to ask my employer that, I'm afraid. Well, you suck, Marcus. Get it? He sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a bad fang pump. I was probably told the details, but everything in my head sometimes blurs together into one big screaming mass. Well, oh, it is going to let us do that. Okay, so do we want to ask one, which is right, that's enough for now, or two, were you waiting for me back there, or three? Is every vampire completely nuts, or is it just you? I'm thinking this number two feels sweet, what do you think? I want to know if he's a stalker. Stalker man. Stalker sabot man. Can you be an ass mine? That'd be funny. I was indeed. Oh shit, he was waiting. <laughs> Consider me the bouncer. Party in hell. All right then. Okay, now we want to get some answers out of him, and he's feeling generous, so we don't need to be too much of an ass. Be strategic, chat. It's either right, that's enough for now, or is every vampire like you, or is every vampire completely nuts, or is it just you? My suggestion is two, because if you play the game, you never know how much info you'll get. So, Magic, are you thinking that that's enough for now? Or are you thinking every vampire's like you? You're thinking two, Tobias. Hmm. I'm kind of you're thinking is every okay so you're thinking too hmm. what else does chat say come on my hunters ante up I'm feeling too to be honest I really am let's see if narcissism comes through this way ready fortunately We're as different in death as we were in life. Just a little more damned. Well, then it's right that's enough for now. It's all we have to choose. Thanks, Marcus. You're a regular Wikipedia. No, he's a Fangopedia. <laughs> 
As you say, sister. That was too cute. <laughs> Don't call me sister. That's creepy. We rode for a short while longer, and in the silence that followed, my mind felt blank. I was slowly coming to terms with what happened. Even though the rational part of me insisted, I was stuck. It wasn't long before we arrived at a huge towering building marked with a giant sign that read Hollywood Heights Hotel. I'd passed by this intimidating place before, noticing the unusually high security outside. Everyone who passed through its doors had a certain strange presence about them, even stranger than most of Hollywood's eccentrics. Marcus pulled me out of the car and into the hotel's luxurious lobby. His boots clacked on the polished marble floors. We came to a stop in front of a private room. But instead of knocking, Marcus simply barged right in. Good evening, Saris. I've brought Cheshire. Our little Iskari. Not a taint. Please give her your warmest welcome. Ah. Welcome back, Marcus. An elegant woman stood up from her chair to greet us, her eyes flicking from Marcus to me. I've been expecting you. Marcus? There's been a mistake. This individual was not supposed to be bitten. She spoke in the very slow, dangerous fashion of someone barely controlling their rage. At least that rage seemed to be directed at Marcus, not me. Is that so? Marcus shrugged, looking about as bothered as if he'd forgotten to get milk from the grocery store. But our sister here was the only pretty young dead thing to walk out of the avatar. Your lucky candidate must have missed their appointment. Missed their for all of this happening to you. 
As you might have guessed, another mortal was supposed to receive the bite tonight, not you. Seems there was a misunderstanding. One, two, or three, Chadback. Either, you know, I'm still not convinced this is real, too. When there's... then there's no way to turn me back? Or, what the hell? You just ruined my entire life. Which way do we want to go, Chad Pack? One, two, or three? Which way shall we go? We got a two, we got a three. <laughs> you think you should say three? What the hell? You ruined my life. <laughs> what are we thinking, Chad Pack? I'm stuck between two and three. If you really at this point think that you're not that you're gonna say you're not convinced this is really your you know you are blind. Catherine, you're right. Catherine would say three. <laughs> wow, you know way too much. <laughs> yeah, she would say three. Without a shadow of a doubt. You do know my real name is Catherine, right? Not spelled that way. But it is. <laughs> you support Catherine. Smart move. Which way we go in chat pack? We go in two or three? Mm -hmm. No. Here, let me help you. You think you want to change to a three? Makes sense. Alright, so what are we going with three? Let's go with three. There's no need for rudeness. Mm, as I believe I just said, there was a misunderstanding. It seems my agent was sabotaged, presumably by your mysterious sire, who is no doubt an enemy of mine. Regardless, I'm rather short on time here, so I won't mince words. You can lament over your loss of humanity for the next hmm, century, or you can accept the hand you've been dealt and move on. Saros breezed along without trying to hide her impatience or annoyance, like I was inconveniencing her. Somehow, it almost left me speechless. She was going to chalk this up to a misunderstanding. You were an accident. But I'm offering you a purpose, as cruel as it may sound. This turn of events needn't be a tragic one for you. It's a chance for all you could have ever wanted in life, perhaps even more, if you possess the will to survive. Therefore, my proposal is a straightforward one. Will you join the Los Angeles Coven of Vampires? My coven? We have one or two. Either I will, or I don't have much of a choice, do I? Alright, you think you know Catherine. Which one would it be? I'll tell you if you're right. You think one. You think two. <laughs> Do you think it's one or two? Come on, chat. What would Catherine do? I'm feeling... You may tell you what I'm feeling. Oh, you may not want to know. <laughs> That's a what the fuck decision. I'm going with two. Because I'm a 
smart ass. She pissed me off. Not particularly, no. I'm pleased you realize this, at the very least, so we can proceed past formalities. The briefest of smiles flashed over her lips like a subliminal message flickering on a TV screen. Very well. Let me establish the main three rules of our coven. One. When you feed, do not kill. It is unnecessary, since mortals almost always lose their memory of events leading up to the bite. Okay, see, that's where I'd screw up. I'm Sabat. I would most definitely kill. So, yeah. But I gotta play campy, so maybe I'll survive. Two. Never reveal your true nature to a mortal. By doing so, you endanger not only yourself, but our entire kind. As a result, you'll be disposed of. Again. Being Sabat. I figured just walk down the street with a shirt that says, Cami in the sheets. No, Cami in the streets, Sabat in the sheets. I actually bought that shirt, by the way. I am so excited. I will take a picture with me wearing it. But I just got it today in the mail. And yes, it says, Cammy in the streets, Sabat in the sheets. I'm impressed with it. And finally, do not turn any mortal into a vampire without my permission. My explicit permission. It is necessary to keep our population to a minimum, as otherwise the area could quickly become overcrowded. Do you understand all of this? One, two, or three. Be warned. This is your boss lady now. Now would I say crystal clear? Eh, unlikely. Would I say I do? I wouldn't want to. Would I say three? Yeah, yeah, get to the point. Mm, probably not. Because right now she has the advantage that I do not. It's her turf. Never fight on someone else's turf. Fight on your own. That way you have the advantage. Alright. I'm gonna do two. What do you think? Let's try two. Good. See to it that you don't forget these rules. With a quiet sniff, Sarge motioned towards the chair beside Marcus, who had languidly stretched out into a seat while we were talking. Yeah, she would just say crystal. That is correct. What the fuck? Marcus. He's just gonna sit there. As I settled down in the offered chair, Marcus flashed me a sidelong smirk. Uh-oh. This may not be good. <laughs> he seemed he found all of this particularly amusing <laughs> give him a look Sarah snapped her fingers to get my attention my state of shock wasn't high on her list of priorities apparently now Cheshire You've arrived during a most difficult time. It just so happens that we're in the middle of a war, a messy political war, waged in the dark, entirely unbeknownst to mortals. As she began her brisk business agenda, Saros elegantly lowered herself on the couch opposite to me. 
the three houses, the ones all vampires belong to Iskari, Mavar, and Golgotha, are fighting for the rule of Los Angeles. I hope I didn't botch those. They did correct me. To put it very crudely, Iskari tend to be diplomatic, Mavar are more aggressive, and Golgotha are... <laughs> everything else. Ah, if only it were that simple. Yes, well, no doubt she'll learn of the nuances soon enough. <laughs> oh god. Don't remind me of Nork. <laughs> Everything else you say, that's the Malkes. The Malkes, the Nosferatus. Yeah. Crossing her legs, Saros let out a faint sigh, one hand lifting to push up her glasses. The current ruling house is a Scotty, which you and I both belong to. We have governed Los Angeles for a number of years, but recently, the other houses have gotten a little, uh, hmm, how shall I put it, rowdy? We need to negotiate some sort of um, three-way peace to restore order, but that's easier said than done. There are simply too many secret deals, betrayals, and assassinations going on behind the scenes. However, you are new enough to be politically naive and unbiased. She paused, that critical light glinting in her eyes again. Unlike most of the other vampires in L.A., you have neither an existing reputation nor any allegiances to speak of, and thus, hmm, you may be the key to our reconciliation. One, two, or three, chat pack. Either I'm listening, go on. Or I don't know if I like where this is going. Or so you want to use me as your political puppet. Now. Strategy here. The deeper we get in, the more strategy you use. One sounds natural, yes. I think. I mean, yes, is she trying to make me a political puppet? Sure. Doesn't mean I have to tell her I know that. Doesn't mean I have to state it. That's where you take strategy into play. Never turn your hand up. Let's try one. The first task I intend to give you is a simple one, but it will serve as an accurate measure of your potential. There's a meeting going on tomorrow night between Randall, the powerful leader of the Mavar rebels, and some Golgotha emissaries. I want you to sneak into that meeting and disrupt it. What the hell? We're going to die. <laughs> okay. So what do you think, Chad Pack? Do we go, how can I disrupt it? Or, that seems easy enough. Or, oh no, I'd rather not walk into a death trap. <laughs> well, I can disrupt it. Anyone that knows Catherine knows, I can most definitely disrupt it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm between one and two equally. I want to know what her ideas are as to how to disrupt it. 
because I really don't know if it's going to be easy. It might not be. Gosh knows what they'll ask us to do. Mm. We have a two. We have a one. So come on, chat. Talk to me. It may not... I'm not saying it would be violent, Tobias. There's a lot of ways to disrupt it without it being violent. So which way do we want to go? One, two, or three. We've got a one, we've got a two, but we need a little bit more. Speak up, chat pack. My blood is in your hands. I'm feeling one, but I'm at your mercy. Your call. Thoughts? <laughs> well, I'd go in probably improvise. I can think of things. But it'd take more than five minutes. Hmm. With me, I could just walk into the room and scream. Just that blinding high pitch would be enough. Let's try. I want to do number one. Let's try it. That will be the least of your concerns. You should be more worried about getting past the guards. Well, it's a thing. Whatever tools you have at your disposal, I suggest you use them. Quick thinking and improvisation are the keys to seeing another sunset. This might be a pull a fire alarm. <laughs> Tomorrow night, Marcus will call you an hour before the meeting. He should have all the details you'll need. Make sure that no treaty is made between the Mavar and Galtga, Golgotha. It is an important step towards forcing Randall onto our side. He's too valuable as a potential ally. Hmm. So we gotta break up that little romance. Consider this task your trial. It is an opportunity to transcend your circumstances, to prove that fate chose you for a reason. Well, hmm. with an air of finality, Saros rose and stepped briskly past me, striding over to the door. And he's going to stare again. Marcus shuffled aside, eyeing her with an arched eyebrow. You'll be staying here at the Hollywood Heights Hotel, in the room intended for the candidate you replaced. The hotel is managed by some of uh, our people, so you'll be perfectly safe. The next time we speak, I will be looking forward to the tale of your success, Cheshire. the door slammed shut behind her, and the swift clacking of her high heels slowly faded into the distance. I turned to Marcus, unsure how exactly to process everything. Sarice had just told me. Well, well, well. Seems like the stars smile on you, sister. He let out a delighted chuckle, winking at me behind those dark lenses. Saros doesn't like to make mistakes. You must have caught her in a good mood tonight. Tell me, what do you think of her? The Red Queen. Uh-oh, here we go. Don't be an ass, chat. 
either a powerful, confident, I like her, or honestly, I'm not sure yet, it's too early to tell, or I have met convicted felons who seem more trustworthy. Which way do you want to go, chat pack? I know I'm feeling one of these three fairly strongly. I want to hear what you have to say. Tobias, very good call. That's what I'm thinking. Just met this chick. Can't necessarily say she's powerful and confident. Not sure I'd go number three either. Yep, magic. I'm feeling the same thing. Two. Yep, croc. Two. Are we going with an anonymous... Or, unanimous. Not anonymous. Unanimous, two. Because that's kind of what I'm feeling a little bit of. Hmm. Let's try to. Someone who reserves judgment? My god, you're a mythical beast twice over. It's called strategy, Marcus. Marcus paused glancing down to an old-fashioned pocket watch in his palm. The fact that he owned one didn't surprise me in the least somehow. I will be calling your room around midnight tomorrow. It would be wise to prepare yourself in every sense of the word. Now, it's about time for me to head out, but before I go, I have one last thing to say to you, and I don't intend to say it twice. His expression suddenly grew dark. He stared at me intently, as if to confirm I was listening. Do not trust anyone. Cool. Every soul you meet in Hollywood is full of lies. Some unintentional, others deliberate. Very rarely does anyone do what they say or say what they truly mean. Only a fool believes everything they're told. Do you understand me, sister? One, two, or three. I am sorry, but I would be going for number one. I'd be calling dude out. Just because, you know, how many times have I gotten in trouble for calling someone out? <laughs> Especially icy character. My icy character has no filter. She'll, she'll call anyone out. <laughs> she doesn't care. In fact, that happened recently. <laughs> yep. That was fun. <laughs> Not. You wouldn't go for number one and ask? Why can't I trust him either? I want to know. This dude's giving me info. Am I supposed to trust him? So we got two threes. <laughs> You're going to keep with a three? And who else is voting, by the way? What other one? You want to keep it, those? That's not nice. Don't be mean, Magic. She'll get she'll get her revenge. Give her time. Give her time. Hmm. So what do I do? One or two? You want to do one? All right. Who else is voting? Because we've done some switcheroos. So we got a one now. We got one one. Now we got two ones. Anybody else vote? 
By the way, whenever we vote, feel free to argue your point, because if you think I'm wrong or you think chat's wrong, I will switch my vote easily. One is fun. Yeah. And why would I be any different? <laughs> I like Marcus. My words are perhaps the least trustworthy of all. You should never simply take what I give you. Oh, I like him a lot. Oh dear. I do believe we've fallen into a paradox. It's rather dark down here, isn't it? Interesting. Snickering softly, he shoved a hand into his pocket, rummaging around for something. Where is the damn... Ah, here. If you ever want to... Finger paint together. Or whatever it is you Iskari folk do for pleasure. This is where you'll find me. He reached for my hand, pressing a small object into my palm. My eyes flickered down to see what he'd given me. A small business card colored bright red and emblazoned with gold black letters. Blood and Roses. A dark paradise for all of your erotic fantasies, adult movies, magazines, and more. Why does that not shock me? Was I misinterpreting this card or... Did Marcus work in a sex shop? By the time I glanced up again, he was already gone. I hadn't even heard the door open or shut. How had he left the room so suddenly? Maybe it was for the best if I didn't know. He obfuscated. He obfuscated. That's what it is. He didn't leave. He's still there. How much you want to bet? It's a Sabbat thing, I'm telling you. Leaving the empty room behind, I found my way back to the front desk, asking about Sarosa's reservation. A slightly awkward pale-faced clerk handed me a key without question. He's going to be in that other room, I'm guessing. Room 915. He obfuscated, and now he's going to use celerity. Oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> Numbly, I made my way into the elevator and up to my floor, where a posh corridor opened up to greet me. The room numbers felt like they passed in a blurry marquee. 909, 911, 913. 9.15 My new home I like that bed looks pretty nice Sparkling clean, warmly lit Beautifully decorated And almost too glamorous To be real The kind of room Where you'd see stars partying Orgying and overdosing, ringing up their agents, shutting the curtains to hide from camera flashes, straight out of a magazine. Up close, though, I realized the room was just as dead as me. The cameras were the only thing that made it seem so alive. But part of me had guessed that already. As I stared at one of the stock paintings on the wall, trying to figure out what emotions I was feeling, something stirred in my gut, telling me Marcus is in that room. 
oops, maybe I'm wrong, a dull, aching hunger. Okay, so maybe Marcus is in the room. It didn't feel like the hunger pangs I'd felt before. It was in my mind, as much as my body, like an addict who needed their fix. Yep. Was it a hunger for that? As much as I didn't want to even think of it as a possibility, the idea uncomfortably wormed into my head. One, two, or three, go look in the fridge, ignore it, or try to go hunt. Which way are we going with this chat pack? One, two, or three. You want to go one? <laughs> go look in the fridge. Are we hoping that maybe somehow, just like in Vampire the Masquerade, Coteries of New York, that maybe there's a blood bag sitting in there? We might actually get lucky. Yeah, maybe we got hooked up in the new room. Hmm. All right, let's go check the fridge. What the hell? What can we lose? Maybe regular food would tide me over, or just some water. I knew that was bullshit, of course, but I pretended not to. I slunk over to the mini fridge, unsure of what I hoped to find. Oh, we can figure out what hunting is. You get hungry enough, you figure that out pretty quick. That's a survival mechanism. Pulling the tiny door open, I bent down to peer inside. But instead of discovering any water or food or even ice, I saw something completely different. I'm a little concerned, chat. Three packs of blood neatly sealed in translucent bags like morbid juice boxes. 45 blood bags. Ha 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 croc. <laughs> hey, fangs out, wangs out. I can say that. Fangs out, wangs out, chat. It's, it's a joke. It's something that some characters in a roleplay uh, stream have said. Yep. You got it, Tobias. Fangs out, wangs out. Is that the initials F-O-W-O? -O? There you go. Okay. Three packs of blood. It's just like Vampire the Masquerade Cultures of New York. On that one, I snatched one up without thinking. At that moment, the sketchy bag looked better than a meal from a five-star restaurant. Guys, suck, 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 suck. 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 <laughs> Timing is everything. Moving on impulse, I sank my fangs into the plastic, downing the cold liquid in giant gulps. Yep. Suck, 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 suck. The second it slid down my throat, a rush of energy flowed through me. Pain vanished, and my body hummed with, well, not a life, but something close to it. Drinking it came so naturally, and each sip tasted better than the last. But in the back of my mind, I knew that I'd lost some part of myself at that moment, something that might never come back. So I drank until the bag was empty, and it was over. A knock at the door 
interrupted my dinner. That would piss me off. I threw the empty bag into the trash can, quickly wiped off my bloody lips, and reached for the door. I thought Strauss or Marcus had left, but maybe one of them had come back to tell me something. Oh. Good evening. A gentle, melodic voice purred out from the man before me. I'd never seen his face before, but his too pale skin and flashing fangs immediately gave away what he was. You're Cheshire, aren't you? Please tell me I'm right. One, two, or three, chat pack. Either, yes, that'd be me, what you want. Or, I wish handsome strangers knocked on my door every night. Or, hmm, not interested in solicitors. Goodbye. Which way you want to go, chat pack? My fate is in your hands. Where do you want to go with that? I'm feeling definitely not a solicitor. Yeah, we ain't going to win. I kind of would say one. I'm feeling one. One, make a stand. What do you want from me? Let's negotiate. I'm kidding. All right. Yes, that'd be me. What do you want? Let's give it a shot. I'm sorry. I meant to introduce myself better, but once you opened the door, all the words in my head just vanished. Oh, you're a charmer. Oh, this is going to be evil. <laughs> There's your Torridor. Tori. It's either a Tori or a Lizombra. It's not a venture, I don't think. Ventures are too political to do that. But it could be a Tory. Could easily be a Tory. Yes, I have doggies. And that's my um, hellhounds. Hmm. I'm feeling not enough shadow tentacles to be a Lizombra. That's true. That is true. Okay, so Tory. We'll say Tori. So are we going with, where are we going with this? I have that effect. I don't want to be narcissistic. Does that happen often or, all right then, how about we start over? I'm feeling two. I'm feeling two. Does that happen often? If you don't know what to say, throw the question back at the person asking it. Put it back in their lap. There you go, two. Only when I get starstruck. Oh, God. It is a Tory. This is why I don't play Tories. Okay. <laughs> he gazed at me silently for a moment. A bright, enthralled glimmer shining in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you. Just for a little while. Promise I won't steal too much of your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, we've got either sure, come on in, or I guess if it's only a little while. I'm feeling to never give in on the first shot. I'm feeling too. What do you think in chat? Play indifferent. It works to your advantage. What do you think? Two? I'm kind of feeling two. Thank you. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
he slipped inside the room, glancing around curiously for a few moments. A faint floral scent drifted around him, just barely strong enough to be noticed. Y'all taking note of this music? <laughs> we may be shutting down the stream in a minute. <laughs> wow. You feel it? Listen to that music. That's make-out music. <laughs> wow. Okay. Romance time. Yeah, what is it? It's, uh... God, what was it? Sexy time. It was sexy time. Remember that? From the stream? Sexy time. God, that's so bad. Oh, God. When he turned back to me, his eyes intensely fixated on mine, flicking away now and then, as if he couldn't keep contact for too long. off guard but I stopped by on well impulse and really I'm so happy that I did he toyed with the fringe of his scarf letting out a soft exhale oh I'm sorry my name is Heath. I already know who you are, of course, and I hope we get to know each other much better. Yeah, I noticed that he's wearing a cross. What the hell? Mm. Okay, chat pack. Either nice to meet you, Heath. I could use some new friends, or I wouldn't mind if we got to know each other a lot better. Or, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why are you here again? Okay. My inner demon screams one thing. My common sense screams another. Hey, new original! Hey, new original! I am glad you are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guess what? We're playing Red Embrace Hollywood. You want to help us play, new original? It's about to go down bad. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. I love... Oh, by the way, new original, I absolutely love that symbol. The symbol next to your name. I want those. I like that. Three for the lulls, one for the strategic formation of allies. Oh, I don't want to make friends. I don't care. Ah, uh, it's, it's interesting. Oh, I like that. Oh, you have some of the coolest things. I love that red rose. Um, let's go with three. We're gonna we're gonna play coy because you know me. That's a trait. Yes, of course. I should be more considerate. After all, well, I passed her house on my way in. She told me about what happened to you. It's awful. I'd say I'm sorry. But apologies won't get your life back. So I wanted to offer you a sympathetic ear and a shoulder to cry on. Ooh, he's a predator. Slick, dude, slick. He spoke quietly, gravely, as if we were attending a funeral for the Cheshire who died back in that club. It wasn't so long ago that I lost my life, too. The changes leave you almost numb at first, but when everything finally hits you, the loneliness is overwhelming. 
one, two, or three. So which way do we go, chat pack? Either I just wish I could go back, or I'm not going to mope about it. What's done is done, or can't be all bad. We've got powers and immortality, right? Which way do you think I would go? Which way do you think Catherine would go? Hmm? Three. Three. Three, totally. You are right. I am Sabat to the core. We love what we are. Two. That is true, no original. But at the cost of your humanity, at being pulled away from the beauty of life, there's beauty in death. Thanks. Just kidding. You wouldn't be the first to say that, but many people end up changing their minds when the cold truth sinks in. Dude, you're depressing me. What are you here for? He let out a quiet sigh, running a hand through his feathery hair. It was a little surprising how much my situation seemed to upset him, considering the apathy or amusement everyone else had shown so far. That's because he's a Tory, and that's a Tory thing. The beauty of it all. Sorrows mentioned your house, too. Houses, well, they're supposed to be the core of who we are in this hidden world, what defines us and what sets us apart. Our gazes met for a few moments. He kept his head slightly lowered, either from shyness or a conscious effort to be coy. You know, from the moment I laid eyes on you, I could tell you are an Iskari. This music is killing me. <laughs> your aura and voice, the emotion under your voice, everything about you is so vibrant, like you never let the world of the living I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little jealous. One or two. Either most people are, or why be jealous? You've got plenty of charm yourself. This is going down another road. <laughs> you like the music? It's romantic music. Sort of. What do we want? One, two, one or two. New original, you choose which way you want. One or two. It's chill and airy, relaxing. Two, you think? I'm gonna let new original pick. New original, which one you want? One or two. You want one? Most people are. You got it. Your, your command. I shall follow. That doesn't surprise me. You must be used to it by now. He studied me for a moment in silence before his gaze shifted to the window. I glanced past him at the glittering cityscape only to meet his stare again in the glass's reflection. It is bloodlinish, isn't it? His expression had quickly sobered. It was like his moods flicked on and off at a whim. Like I said, he's a Tory. You know, a few years ago, you would have you would have had a group of Iskari to welcome you into this new world. But now, well, with the war.
war going on, everyone seems more interested in protecting themselves than helping each other. Even their own house members. I can't stand it. One, two, or three chat pack. Either seems like a justified war if it means getting rid of Sarus or Saris. No, that's probably not going to be good. Isn't there a way to make peace? You're very empathetic for a vampire. We know why he's a Tory. Make peace between the Kamis, the Anarchs, the Sabats? Ooh. Mm -mm -mm, not quite sure about that. You think peace? Are we thinking peace? I'm thinking peace. I am. Like, is there a way to make peace? Because stating the obvious, he's empathetic for a vampire. Eh. Yeah, we don't know anything about the politics. And I don't know if I want to focus this on him, per se. Not really my type. We'll do, is there any way for peace? Heath shook his head, tracing his thumb along the cross at his neck. No, not while the Mabar and Golgotha refuse to enter a treaty with us. The Ascari, that is. Well, that's what he is. He's one of ours. Cool. Until then, we're trapped in this endless cycle of bloodshed. I don't know who's more of a danger to us, the hunters or ourselves. That's getting a little philosophical. One or two, either hunters, you mean vampire hunters, or why can't they reach an agreement? What do you think, Chatback? I'm feeling. You thinking two? We don't know about hunters. True that. We could ask. I mean, this would be the time to ask if you wanted to. Either question would be good. I'm still trying to figure out why Heath is here in the first place. Because he's sitting here as the Fangopedia again. What are you thinking? Are we going with one or two, Chad? I'm thinking. Let's try. Because everybody wants to be on top. Praise King. Everybody thinks their leadership would be the best. If you thought human government was difficult, imagine keeping a coven of aggressive, power-hungry immortals in line. It's like herding lions. Yeah, I can see it. Heath bit his lip. A troubled frown flitting across his face for a few moments. But listen to me, Cheshire. Please. More than anything else, I hope you'll remember if you don't want to be alone, you don't have to be. run a bar downtown. Nothing much. Just a little nook for stars and a sanctuary for people like us. It's called Saturnalia. Won't you come by sometime? I don't mean to sound pushy, but... The warm lamplight reflected in his eyes as they flicked up towards mine. His gaze was so longing, so hopeful, that I had to wonder what I'd done to warrant 
important. There's something different about you. Something that I've never seen before. And I'd really like to talk to you more if you'd let me. Oh my. One, two, or three. Either I'd love to come by Heath, I might even make a surprise visit too. I'll think about it, thanks. Or, uh-huh, no need to save me a seat. I'm thinking too, let's be polite and leave it open. You never know. You never know. Now commit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. You wanna say, hey, guess what, I'm coming tomorrow. And <laughs> you don't wanna say, Ah. So let's go for two. One, two. Let's try. My hesitant reply made Heath clasp his hands together in a playfully pleading way. Really? You're not giving me false hope, are you? But maybe it isn't so bad. I'll look forward to the chance of seeing you again. Every night I'm there. Mm -hmm. I should leave. The sun's coming up soon, but I'll remember to say a prayer for your success tomorrow. Until then, if you ever need me, you know where I where I am. With a gentle bow of his head, he gave me one last long look. Good night, Cheshire. <laughs> one, two, or three. Either good night, Keith, sleep well, or don't let the door hit you on your way out. I'm sorry, I have to go with one. We're not going to be an ass. <laughs> that is so mean. Four. Where's four? <laughs> no original. Are you s is it obfuscated? Let me guess. It's obfuscated. And it says, yo, baby, why don't you stay here? How about that? Oh, no, one's good. We'll go with one. <laughs> Keith quietly made his way to the exit, slipping outside. Once the door clicked shut behind him, I was alone again in golden, solitary confinement. All right, chat pack, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I gotta read between the lines, I know. Um, we're gonna shut it down for the night and we're gonna raid. Look on your list, see if you can tell me someone who has low numbers for us to raid, or somebody we know that we're trying to support that we're raiding. Tell me, what do you see while I'm shutting this down? Bum bum bum, we wanna save it. Save, here. Is it gonna let me? Yeah, save. Go back to menu, return to menu, uh, I guess, there we go, exit, near dark is on, oh, we got to raid near dark, it's a requirement, we have to raid near dark, all right, so folks, here we go, saddle up, buttercup, we're going to go find us someone to raid, I am actually, I don't know why I don't have them on my other one. All right. Oh, they're not? They just logged off? Dang. Okay. They just logged off. Who do we got? Talk to me. Yeah, I see that. They just logged off. Well, who do we want to raid? Who do we have? Hmm. We got Mad Hatter. Do we want to raid Mad Hatter? We can certainly do that. Coolies. 
All right, I am booting up so I can hear it. Because usually I don't, and then it takes forever to get back over there. And we're going to jump in. Where's my friends? All right, there we go. So here we go, chat pack. You ready? You ready? Redlin, you know I would raid you. Everything counts. You greatly appreciate the raid attempt. Yeah, they were play were they playing Dead by Daylight? I'll bet you they were. Yeah. Were they playing Dead by Daylight? Okay. They had to be. Five, six by the end of it. Yeah. I think they were. Missed it by that much. Oh, they were playing Neverwinter Nights. Okay. All right, I gotcha. MMO. I have not played that. I have played Dead by Daylight, though, which probably I'm going to play in a minute for just a little bit because I miss it and I've been playing for a while. All right, guys, we're going to raid. Buckle up, Buttercup. It's time to go raid. R A I D. M A D H A T T E R A N D. Y'all ready? Let's go now? raid. God, weird. And here we go. Five. Oh, now we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Raid. Cheshire with the raid! What's up, Chesh? How you doing? How was your stream? Hope everything was good for you. Yeah, go give her a follow over there. They were last seen playing no games. What? Something, something's wrong there. What were you, what were you playing, Chesh? Hello, Ty Tobias the Masquerade. What are you fucking with, girl? Ooh. I like that. Is that your new emote? I like that. If tis your emote, me likey, me likey a lot. Red Embrace Hollywood. You'll have to tell me what that is. Please, tell me all about that. Tell me! I must know. Fucking with hardcore vampy stuff. Ooh. 